Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to say a few words regarding events that have happened in the last few days about a blog that went out about Amanda Mary Jewell. There seems to have been some kind of moral explosion regarding this blog and um, I just wanted to clarify a few things in relation to that, if that's okay. Um, myself and my colleagues, as you know, have been working in this campaign for 18 months now, trying our best to stop the people that are peddling these awful treatments to autistic children. And the media exposure that we've had to date has, you know, served that really, really well. And we see investigations, you know, in many parts of the world at the moment into those selling MMS and GCMAF. Uh, most recently, I was on Irish TV um, complaining to our politicians about their lack of legislation and how they completely continue to ignore this terrible issue of mistreatments to the autistic community. Um, I just want to make it clear that um, whilst many people are, you know, online working in the campaign. I really appreciate that. I, I appreciate all the blogs, all the time they put into that. But it is not as hard as being out there on the front line, on the media, on the TV, and then having uh, these quacks come forward and attack and threaten you. A few months ago, um, I was uh, basically a victim of a big smear campaign where I was called a hired assassin, a murderer, and I spoke about that a few months ago. I was actually blamed for the murder of Dr. Bradstreet. That's how crazy it was. Also to add, my children were also dragged into this smear campaign. Their picture was put on a blog next to Osama bin Laden. I had emails sent to me by Amanda Mary Jewell. I was basically abused, threatened and terrorised for about six weeks in total. Um, nobody really came out and made any big um, you know, hoo-ha about that. Um, I didn't have any newspaper article write about my experience and I certainly didn't have many people rallying around to support me. Those that did, I'm very grateful and you know who you are. Um, what I really want to talk about, I suppose, is the reaction to people uh, regarding this blog by Jerome Lamb and Amanda Mary Jewell. Uh, there is a lot of graphic content, I'm not going to make any excuses about that. However, people got a warning when that blog was shared about the content. They didn't have to read it if they didn't want to. We feel it's relevant to Amanda Mary and the treatments she's offering autistic children. Her past is relevant to that because she is working with children and because all the titles she claims to own from being a cancer researcher to a lawyer to an autism expert and now her most lately um, amazing project, Stem Cell Therapy. We feel that it's relevant to highlight her true profession, which is in the adult hardcore porn industry. Now, if people have a problem with that, that is fine. I respect their opinion, but I'm here to say that I'm very much entitled to have my own opinion on this, and I'm very much entitled to share anything that I read online. I didn't write the blog, neither did my colleagues, but we have been attacked. We have been basically abused verbally through awful uh, messages sent to me, a private message. I've been told to apologise to Amanda Mary Jewell, which is absolutely laughable, um, and other horrible things being said as we speak. Um, if anyone wants to, you know, carry on and believe in that, that's fine. It's not going to deter us or our campaign. We will continue on as we have done for the last year and a half with this issue. Um, you know, what really saddens me, I suppose, is that when I was under attack and when my children were being threatened, I didn't have this uh, big, you know, rallying of support at all. Yet when Amanda Mary has one negative article, you know, published about her life and the awful activities that she has done, to harm people, to scam people, and believe me, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is a lot worse than what you've read already. Everyone is up in arms about it. We have an embargo placed on submissions to Autism Daily Newscast. My dear friend Emma, who has contributed so much to that paper over the last few months, and this is how we're treated. We're censored by Autism Daily Newscast. Uh, it's absolutely outrageous, actually. We didn't even write the blog, except we're being punished now because of that. Um, I shared the blog, I don't regret sharing it, that's my opinion, I'm 44 years old and I'm a big girl now and I can read and share what I wish and I, I'm not going to apologise to anybody and those of you out there that continue to smear my name and say things about me and my colleagues will shame on you because believe me, when you have, um, you know, when you've walked a day in my, sh my shoes or what it's like to be out on the front line, not on Facebook, you know, hammering away behind the screen, but out there getting abuse, having David Noakes ring you up and threaten you, those kind of issues are very hard to deal with. So, I mean, don't make judgments about me or my colleagues. We're doing incredibly well in this campaign and we deserve respect. So I just want to make it clear, we're fine. We're going to continue on, work harder than we ever have before. 
But, you know, those of you that continue to slate me and my friends, just stop, because he really just highlights how infant you are on all of this uh, issue. And if you spent more time actually working on this, instead of complaining and bitching behind our backs, you might actually get something done. Um, so just stop it, because it's not helping anybody. And like I said, Amanda Mary Jewell's character is absolutely appalling, and I wish I'd had the same support when I was under attack. That's all I really wanted to say, and um, I want to thank everyone that supports us to date on this issue, and I hope you do continue to support myself, Emma, and Heather, and Tim, and anyone else that is involved in what we do, because we really work very hard on this issue, not just on Facebook, offline, in the real world as well. Okay, thank you everybody. Take care.